1,100 tons of sand with nine teams of enthusiastic sand sculptors, and you have the inaugural Sand in the City Festival. You know, how often do we get to play in the sand? We're in the Colorado mountains. The June event kicked off with a pledge by team members. Please raise your right hand. Repeat after me. I promise to have fun. I promise to have fun. Help others have fun. Help others have fun. And to unlitter. And to unlitter. Turn somebody next to you and give them a high five. <laughs> a quick countdown. Four, three, two, one. Start your shuttles. And it was time to dig in. Staged on the lawn of the Arvada Center, the two-day event was organized by the Arvada Chamber of Commerce. You know, so it's a great festival for Arvada residents, but it also brings people from around the region into Arvada. We are raising funds for the chamber so that in turn we can support the business community and, and ensure the success of our businesses. Teams paid a $2,000 entry fee. Local architects helped each team design their sculpture. Oh, and about all that sand? Integrated Snow Removal is our Sandman. They are sand masters and we love them. Integrated Snow Removal, at no cost to us, brought in all of the sand and will haul it back out for us. And experts from the Sand in the City organization coached teams on the secrets to packing, shaping, carving, and sculpting during a four-hour practice days before the event. And just scar it so that when your next one comes on, you don't have these actual layers. They show up with their tools and their forms and models or drawings, and we show them individual techniques for each individual sculpture. There's a whole bunch of science about how to build the sand, how to pack it up, how to do all of that. Teams had only about six hours to complete their sand sculpture before the event opened to the public. And with the clock ticking, they were running into challenges. Okay. Let's try this. The whole thing's just coming up. Well, as the saying goes, the third time's a charm. Woo! Yeah! Thank you, sir. This is harder than I thought. When I signed up for this, I thought, oh, it's sand sculpture. How bad could it be? And it's actually a lot of work. Our company is a science-based company, and so we decided on the minions. So we've got minions and flasks and beakers. It's kind of a science-based thing. A city-related team made up of council members and local business City Pizza and Pasta was organized by the Arvada Economic Development Association. Its six-foot sculpture of Lloyd King, who founded King Supers in Arvada, paid tribute to Arvada's business and agricultural roots. We have about 15 members on our team. We're all out here trying to get this sculpture built up. The sand has to be uh, perfect, it almost has to be cement, like, and so we can sculpt it. We had too much water in one spot and it was kind of soupy, so we had to dig it back up and kind of rotate it. You know, it's, it's a lot of physical labor and stuff like that, and I've got some nice blisters and stuff, but it's a fun time, you know, it's, it's good being out here in the community and, and getting our name out. Judges, like Mayor Mark Williams, joined the fun. Is this the official logo of uh, Blues and Barbecue? Kind of, you know, we, it's, yes. <laughs> now, when is Blues and Barbecue? Yeah. Blues and Barbecue is July 14th, Sunday, July 14th, so it's just about a month out, man. Another great event in Arvada. We yeah. appreciate you Arvada doing this. Rocks, Mark. Thrilled to have you here. Yeah. Well, this is in, in tribute to two ponds. And we've got our tree with all the roots coming out. There's a yes. rattlesnake hiding over Whoa. there. Whoa! See the bird in the nest, and you got to come check out the owl. And we're using the opportunity to help raise awareness about the fundraiser for Two Ponds for the capital campaign to build the schoolhouse. So we're doing a, a nature theme design. Along with admiring the finished sculptures, kids of all ages got to play in the sand too and enjoy food and games. It's a sense of community. You know, I think Arvada is such a wonderful place and to bring attention to Arvada is great. So I just thought it was a fun event and I, um, I managed the company, so I wanted my employees to come out and have a good day. That's what we're doing. I'm coming back next year, man. Next year, next year. o'clock in the morning and this crowd is pumped. Check it out. There's some very brave souls. 170 people show up at the new Chick-fil-A restaurant at 52nd and Wadsworth. 
to check in. Thank you. And then settle in. It's really cold out here. This is what you call parking lot camping. Urban camp. <laughs> the first 100 people chosen in a lottery win a year of free Chick-fil-A meals. No problems with that. That means getting in line 24 hours early and spending the night. Even though you're here for 24 hours in freezing cold weather on cement, but it's worth it. It's cold, but it's still enjoyable. We had three cars full of sleeping bags, comforters, blankets. During the day, enthusiasm helps pass the time. Thank you. Breakfast does too. My favorite item on the menu is probably their breakfast. There's 100 people here, so there's plenty of stuff to do. There's a frisbee game. Everybody's very excited and they're very happy. Four square. It's awesome. And some foul play. I'm willing to be here for 24 hours because it's a fun experience. Free chicken. Card games, couple time, and comfort are key. I've passed the time by taking two naps so far. So it's kind of like a party in the parking lot, uh, and everybody really enjoys it. It's the second Chick-fil-A restaurant in Arvada, bringing 80 local jobs. It's kind of a unique and interesting story. And it's the residents who helped bring it here with a big social media campaign. I think I liked a few Facebook pages, actually. I'm involved with getting Chick-fil-A in my community by following social networks like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all of that good stuff. They constantly post stuff and it's all good content and why not have a Chick-fil-A in your city? A lot of fans connect with us through Facebook or call into our corporate offices and also influence those decisions. So that's just a little bit of how we ended up here in our valley. This is the second one within like 20 blocks. So I have options now. That's the kind of economic development the city of Arvada likes to see. Residents have an extraordinary amount of power in helping us attract new business to the community. Then our job is to help find them the right location, and it's per when it's a perfect match, we all win. So when the doors finally open and the chicken fans come in, they get their well-earned coupons so they can enjoy their favorites all year long. The favorite food I'm on the menu is the chicken strip. The original chicken sandwich with the pickles and everything. It's delicious. Go ahead and shoot your own horn, Chick-fil-A. Fans couldn't be happier. It's hard work being a star. Just ask Remy, who got a well-deserved break during an all-day photo shoot for Purina. Remy's owner, John Langdon of Arvada, sums it up. It was exhausting. It was about 11 to 12 hours just of constant questions, camera in your face, um, moving around with the dog, retaking shot after shot after shot because they wanted that perfect catch, that perfect throw for Remy. Remy's reputation as a competitive dock dog landed him in the Purina spotlight. They have distance jumping, height jumping, a speed retrieve, you name it. It's all about just having fun with your dog. Last year, Remy jumped 31 feet 7 inches for second place. He lost out to a world record, so they set a new world record to beat him. This year, he jumped 30 feet 8 inches for third place. Remy loves water. In fact, it's a love story all the way around. John has loved dogs since he was a boy. When he married, his wife gave him the gift of Remy, a Belgian Malinois he'd been dreaming of owning as a wedding gift. These days, he's passing on the love of dogs to his own children. That backstory, along with Remy's water skills, intrigued Purina enough to include Remy in its incredible dog challenge. To me, it's, it's finally his moment to shine. Remy's breed is known for its intelligence and hard work ethic and is increasingly popular. They're actually taking over the sport. They're known more for police and military work and they're working dogs. So they're very similar to a German Shepherd, just really crazy. A lot more energy. Good boy. Plenty of training corrals Good all boy. that energy. 
For John, who owns an in-home dog training service called Sit Means Sit, Remy is perfect. We're firm believers in giving the dogs jobs and tasks as opposed to telling them don't do this, don't do that. Uh, so we teach them a recall, uh, how to walk next to you without tugging and pulling on a leash. Uh, teach them how to sit, oh, yes. lay down, go to a place, Boy, go to a spot, right. spot and hang out, uh, as well as some boundary training in the house and boundary training in the yard as well. Oh, I'll go for it. Training for those long leaps into the water is another story. There's frisbee catching. There we go. Good boy, Remy. And in warm weather, the lake near his house works. The rest of the year finds Remy at an indoor pool at CRCG, or Canine Rehabilitation and Conditioning Group, in Broomfield. Good catch. Good boy. I go to CRCG to, uh, to train him for the distance because I have a long pool and a long dock. Come on, Remy. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. No matter where he's training, Remy never seems to tire of it. Oh, Remy's always got it in him. He's, that dog never ceases to amaze me. He always goes beyond what I expect. I mean, he really does. Let's go, Remy. Come on, get it, 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 get it. To reach John Langdon, go online to sitmeansit.com and navigate to the South Denver Dog Training page. For more information about canine rehabilitation and conditioning group, go online to dog-swim.com or call 303-762-7946.